Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, fucking yeah, Tariq Nasheed, yeah, yeah. man. Tariq Nasheed. <laughs> well, so we we streamed Buck Breaking recently. Oh yeah. Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, dude, and like maybe I'm a fucking idiot, but I, I'm not gonna lie. Like <laughs> I, I mean, okay, yeah, I am. He slaps. Yeah. He fucking but, slaps. Well, no, dude. Like the movie's like a lot better than I expected it to oh, be. Oh no doubt. <laughs> like once you get past the gay porn like in the first like mm-hmm. i don't know 20 minutes the animations it's actually like pretty based you're well, like i like... mean they're missing the point like <laughs> they're, they're applying the right rhetoric to the wrong like overall idea yeah uh, but you're like they're saying the things and you're like yo shit man yeah but like Jesus Christ! Now you're thinking about it all wrong. Yeah, I mean it's like thorough, bro. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Thorough. He does Is the it? whole like he touches on Epstein. He touches on the yeah. Clintons. Like he he has like dramatization. He's like Black like, Adam Curtis. He, he's a Black <laughs> Adam Curtis. He he has like dramatizations though of yeah. like the Caucasoid fucking mountains where white people look yeah. like fucking apes and shit. And, like, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's so think- good, dude. Do you think there's any? Is it is it too good? Do you think it holds water that like this is really some closet gay shit? Everyone that's focused on the buck breaking shit. Oh no, you know for I mean? sure. I feel like <laughs> and oh, also there's, there's something going on a little bit there, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, that, no, no worries. But the the like, funny yeah. thing about about that guy is like he okay. There's a lot like I've I followed him for a long time because I had some like hotep ass like coworkers at a really old job that like put me onto him and like one oh, if yes. you're if you're funny. I don't care what your take is. Like, if you're funny, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he's yeah. fucking awesome on Twitter. Like, just, just hilarious. <laughs> like, like uh, I was saying it with, uh, we had Chef on the other day, uh, uh, and we were, we were talking about it, and he was, uh, he, like, man, where am I going with it? Oh, yeah. I, well, first off, I asked Chef if he had ever seen Buck Breaking, and he thought I meant like literal Buck Breaking. Like, I was like, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like yeah, no, I, I mean, I think he meant like, oh, what, what the movie's about. Like, oh. I asked him if he had seen that. Like, and he's like, Chef- wait. Really? <laughs> So he understood the concept of it without actually having any knowledge oh, of the movie. T- Tariq didn't invent the word. Yeah, no, he knows. Chef yeah. is like Chef is like Glenn. You understand that I'm not literally a slave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I do now. And uh, but yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was really funny. Uh, but yeah, like put me onto him, and he would talk about this real shit before he started getting like. <laughs> So I'm at Slaboy T. All right, this is uh, Shit Spouter 37. This is Black.com Pills. This is the Fed Post. you know he's talking about like like an actual like racially motivated killing in like the south he'd be like hey nobody's talking about this you're like that's okay that makes sense and uh but what the thing is that like a lot of the people i see getting outraged by uh over him uh is the uh is when they when they're like oh my god this guy's insane and the libs are gonna eat this up i'm like he's anti-gay they're not gonna eat this up yeah yeah. like they're not gonna co-op this like it's not gonna happen this is this is never the the right will embrace this before the fucking left does like and you see on his twitter things like you'll see some like base like american flag like bald eagle avi guy being like (laughs) fuck yeah dude like yeah he's like (laughs) i I literally know conservatives in real life they're like yeah no like Tariq's kind of base yeah Yeah. it's It's like don't agree on everything but uh people (laughs) high-fiving and it's like black supremacists and white supremacist and it's just yeah. like yeah or theory, man. Or <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, i'll ask you this yeah. i'll ask you this okay now here's another thing i bring up to people so would you rather would you rather live in woke tard world or black nationalist world black Ooh, nationalist world. black nationalist Without world 100 percent yeah, parliament Without a fucking or fucking like npr tiny desk like yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's all i'm saying i rest my yeah. case yeah, no, I mean, like, I mean, and, and it goes, it, and, and to be perfectly clear, like, you're watching this movie, you're like, you're, I mean, which is, it's a Hotep manifesto, right? Like, that's based, yeah. They're just, they're just black Nazis. Like, they're basically <laughs> yeah. just black Nazis. Thaddeus which Kaczynski, is, yeah. <laughs> right? That's what makes it so good. <laughs> it really, honestly, it kind of does. It yeah. kind of does. Fuck, what was I about to say? No, yeah, it's, I, I, I guess uh, I would, 
What's what's the Rotten Tomato score on? Oh yeah. shit! Let me bring let me bring that shit. <laughs> yeah, <up. laughs> that, that just, okay. I mean, I bet they I bet they don't even have a page for it on I, I, Yeah, which is racist in my opinion. Yeah, they're trying to keep a good black man down. I, 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 think I, so got, too. I got Buck 2011, and I got Breaking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> Buck yeah. Breaking Bad oh, would be shit. a good spinoff. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That would be a good one. Jesse, Jesse, we have to break up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh on I, on I Gus, the... Gus, poor Gus. Yeah. Oh, but, man. Yeah. Dude, Gus is in it for a bad one, dude. <laughs> I, I'm looking at IMDb right now, and it's 3.5 stars out of 10. Really? Okay. It's racist. Well, come, dude, yeah, come that's on, not very really good. A... Well, you know what it is. It's a bunch of it's a bunch of like uh, like bot accounts from fucking like trans Twitter or something. Hey man, like Amazon has got four point eight out of five. Okay, bro. Be- take a look at this. Yeah. You know, Bezos, Bezos dropped the nine out of ten on that one. Yeah, yeah I loved it. My boy's a filmmaker now, dude. Yeah. 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 Dude, he did thorough fucking work on this shit. Like I'm yeah. telling you, and the best part about it is that you know they have like you know like a small number of people that they like did a good amount of like interview footage with and among them fucking none other than of upn fame judge joe brown yeah judge <laughs> joe brown oh, he, is he, one of the main dudes he's he's That's really cool. fucking based dude joe, joe brown <laughs> like he um he has really good biden takes like his biden takes go pretty crazy or is he like, on twitter no, I, I just, I think people interview him. Like, it doesn't really, I think, like, Fox News will have him on and shit. Like, he'll yeah, just, he's he'll around. Just, yeah, he'll just pull up. I mean, he's a law and order guy. I mean, like, they'll, yeah. they'll have him on. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, he'll just be like, like, Biden is doing, the, he, he had to take that, like, Biden was the June, like, making Juneteenth a holiday, but, like, Delaware still kept slavery after Juneteenth. Like, <laughs> yeah. And so, dude, like, he's read his I was like, room. fucking checkmate, dude. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> God is ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he's, he's good, man. I, yeah. That's definitely what we all decided to talk about today, right? Was was buck breaking? So, was yeah. buck breaking? Yeah. Well, that's, well, to be honest, that's what aliens really on, are. Well, yeah, no, it's on point. It actually links in. Yeah. yeah come on, anal Tariq probes? is, Tariq is a fucking alien, first of all. But then also, this is all rudimentary trickology. Yeah. So, 100%. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one hundred percent. We're we're gonna get onto the we're gonna we're gonna touch on the big head scientists. Yeah. We're gonna touch on all of that. We stuff. gotta talk about the inner earth beings. You gotta let Cy uh, talk theory. about Neil deGrasse Tyson, man. Like, you yeah, gotta, you gotta you gotta let him do it. I, I, I can hate that dude, man. On our on know. our on our pod, like I'm the Gavin Newsom like red eye guy. Like when I see Gavin Newsom, <laughs> yeah, he's NDT guy, dude. Like big he's, time. He, yeah, yeah he's, I saw wants this. To, Cy wants to recall. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah, front, yeah. Probably more important, honestly, to do that. I, I'd agree. <laughs> I saw this fucking tweet of his that got put in my feed today that was like, where he said in 2020, in the primitive past, we had religion as a tool to guide us, like a candle through the night, the dark night of reality. Now we have science, like a giant flashlight to better light the way. And you're like, dude, yeah. he's literally <laughs> just admitting this shit's a religion for these people. Yeah. Like oh, he's giving away game. the game. Yeah, that sounds like, like gay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking dude, Tyson Neil deGrasse T- Neil deGrasse Tyson is confirmed neo reaction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> NDX. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. Yeah. The cathedral of fucking bullshit yeah. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah. Fuck yeah. M- mold bug narrating yeah. the next co- shitty Cosmos series. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, uh, you got you two might want to turn your audio down just a little bit. I, I don't, I can't monitor it in Zoom, so you two might want just a little bit because you could always crank it up later. Um, just, uh, just how do I do that? Do I, do oh, that? I don't know. I don't. Well, I don't know if you. What are you guys recording into? Oh yeah, I mean, I'll just adjust. Maybe it's not. not too bad. It's, it's not bad. It's, it's not good, okay. Yeah. Or right, maybe my yeah, maybe my fun. recording it. Okay, no, my cool. shit's bumped up all crazy. Oh, is it okay? There one you of, one of you right, will come. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because because you can you can crank it up. Um, like when I send you guys the individual files, that's the only shitty part about Zoom is the fucking you can't monitor it. So, um, but yeah, sorry, sorry to derail. I just didn't want to fuck that. Up. Um, do Neil I sound aggressive. any different? Do I sound any different? That's fine. Yeah, yeah. No, that's good because it's just like I said, you could bump it up. So you guys are good. Yeah. Okay, sick. Um, yeah, no, dude. Neil deGrasse Tyson, he's a he's he's I mean, he's a sicko, first of all. But well, here, let's like let's fucking intro this topic here. All right. What do you guys say? I, I, mean, I literally did research for this. I never do research right. for any episodes I've ever. Academically I studied UFO. I've yeah. academ- <laughs> I've academically I've academically studied Roswell uh <laughs> and and anal probing. Nice. Um, 
It's, I mean, how do how did we even get here? Did you so get any like, on you know, the job hours with that? <laughs> oh, dude, dude, I got over, I got overtime, baby. <laughs> fill out your little, uh, yeah, fill out your little <laughs> union card. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah, you see this? This means uh, I don't yeah. work without a fucking union contract. All right, yeah, I got a fun no show jobs for this guy. At the I, yeah. No <laughs> probes without a union contract. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, dude, it was the fucking, it was the probing union that took out uh, Hoffa. Actually, so not true. a lot of people. It's, it was grace. He's it not on grace. earth anymore. You won't find yeah. him. Interdimensional yeah. Hoffa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. so okay, so so let me let me what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce the topic. Okay. And you know, CRK isn't here this week. He's so abducted. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, he's abducted. So long, yeah. on, dude. So this yeah. is how Slav yeah. does it. No. Uh, <laughs> So, so as everybody knows, right, UFOs, they've been in the, the news a lot lately, right? Now, what I've kind of noticed, I've kind of noticed, right? And so, so personally, I'm a believer, right? Right. You see, you see people online, you see the take mills, they're turning, ever turning, right? Mm-hmm. And you see a lot of people getting all hyped up, right? You see a lot of people then kind of react to that. And now I feel like kind of the standard take on Twitter is just to be like aliens are gay. Who even yeah. cares about any of this? Mm-hmm. All of this is fake. And it's like it's like that with anything. Right. It's it's like that with honestly, it's, it's the kind of it's the kind of demonic rhetorical device that even like Black Lives Matter uses. Right. Where you kind of you throw the baby out with the bathwater. You don't. Supp- That's a horrible example. I'm, I'm going. Uh, I digress. So you're saying you're calling you're calling us demonic and not the aliens. That's what's going on here. You are selling humanity (laughs) up a stream right now, dude. To these fucking things. You making me sick. Go on, dude. Go on. Oh fuck. Um. And and so and so I've I've kind of noticed. I I think I think I think there needs to be a calm. I think there needs to be an educated, calm, well balanced voice on the on the on the issue. That's you me. got people. That's you, why you well, got me on, dude. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Because because you got you got people over here believing that Obama is saying things that are true on Colbert or whatever demonic show he oh, appeared on. I yeah. fucking hate that clip so fucking much, dude. I literally didn't even watch it. Yeah, what, what, what did he say? What did he say? No, so Obama's just like, yeah, well, they got aliens everywhere. They're uh, they're uh, in the sky. Uh, you can see him flying everywhere, and, uh, and then Reggie Watts from like whatever that fucking guy's from, he just goes Wee! organ solo in the background. Yeah, like, yeah, Barack, like, <laughs> Fuck yeah. like I fucking hate this shit, dude. Like I hate it Reggie so Watts, much. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't even know what that guy is. He from Hamilton? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, he's a cool ass little musician or whatever. But oh, okay. You know, yeah. I, I got him confused with the other uh, the other dude with like the from Hamilton. <laughs> No, <laughs> no. Well, everybody on late night TV is from Hamilton, so yeah. That's no, no. I get what you're saying. No, there's the other. There's the other black guy. <sighs> what? And he has real hair. poofy fucking hair, and he's fucking annoying as shit. And I can't remember. He's from Oakland too. That's why I. Did like, you ever I feel see? Like I you ever see that movie Velvet Buzzsaw? No. Uh, he's in that. I know who you're fucking talking about. Yes. Uh, yeah. I, I. I. Yeah. I'll find him. Go ahead. Keep going. Yeah. Uh. No. Anyways, I mean, I was actually. I mean, it's like oh, I was like, David Diggs is who we're talking about. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He was. He was in uh, Blind Spotting too. I. I don't know. Uh-huh. I'm like. I can't think of any. Sure you, no. He was in Train Spotting. No. no I'm kidding. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. We're talking about you and McGregor. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Same guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, black actor you and McGregor. Um, <laughs> yep. God damn it! You, you, you. We went off on that tangent when I was like 96 percent of the way there. You were Anyways, saying we've got the adults in the room now to talk about. We got the, We got the adults in the room. We're cracking open a can of the the professionals and the experts are behind the wheel again. Mm-hmm. Let's fucking let's fucking dig into it, boys. Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. Um. Mm-hmm. So let's just let's just go around. I'm gonna I'm gonna start strong. I'm gonna say sigh. Well, just just are you a believer? Yeah. Not only I'm absolutely, and not even. Like, uh, I believe that there's intelligent life elsewhere in the universe. I'm, I've been following this for a while. I've been into it since I was a kid, you know, and when you're into it from a young age, when, when you, or when you've been into it for a while, you just have a different view on it. And I'm not saying this is you, COH or anyone, but like this whole, yeah, like you're saying this whole contrarian Twitter thing, you know, with, I will say like with like Layla on, on fucking Twitter, Call her up. I respect, you know, but I got to say, I'm just like. Yeah, she's always doing the dumb null hypothesis thing, which I think is being misused in this case. Sorry, I'm getting off on a tangent, but I I love Layla, you know, but I'm I don't agree with her on this shit. Um, yeah, not uh, yeah, these these fuckers are real, and they're 
in communication with us and they're they're guiding our speech to some extent um and i i believe there's there's tons of circle circle circumstantial evidence for these facts that we can get into in depth um but there's just interesting stuff there's just interesting circumstantial evidence that that uh i think anyone should look at objectively like, you know what's going on here kind of thing um mm-hmm. yeah there's some shit going on for sure and yeah i think the department of defense or whatever is just like if, if I had to sum it up in one sentence, the aliens came out and said, we're doing full contact within the next decade or two. And the Department of Defense is just getting out ahead of it. You know, that's my that's my take. And so everyone's saying like, oh, it's a psyop. It's fake. They're just using it to to. Well, you know, a no one cares. Like no one really seems to give a fuck whether Obama goes on Colbert. But, you know, it's not like crossing this yeah. crazy, like reaction like they think it will. I think they're just getting out ahead of it um but yeah there's tons of little tons of little pieces of evidence that have nothing to do with like what one guy said or or someone's take or anything there's just there's stuff that is any thinking person could uh could would be fascinated by which we all are Well, okay so 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 do you do you believe specifically that it that this is you mentioned just outright first contact like open first contact do you believe that that is what i think that's that's within our lifetimes yeah i think that could be a thing in the next maybe by 2035 2040 to put a timeline on it within the next i think it'll be i don't think it'll be like one event but boom it happens kind of thing but what do you think it'd look like? They'd like unveil them or they just be like, these are messages that we're getting from these yeah. unfa- like faceless, unnamed that's a great, UFOs. That's a great question. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously we want visual proof, you know, and um, what I would think would happen, I do think they, I think they like have a, the ability to interact with our dream state and stuff. Would be crazy if, what if we all had the same dream one night and we woke up and I was like, yo, I just had this fucking vivid ass dream that this, that this alien was talking to me and said X, Y, and Z. And then, like, you were like, yo, I had the same fucking dream. And then, like, it was some nationwide news story or some Damn. shit. You know what I mean? That'd be crazy. But, no, I think, yeah, I think it'll it'll happen. Mm-hmm. Um, and not only that, I'm that's the one reason why, honestly, I'm not, I'm not blackpilled on the environmental shit. Because I do think if it were up to us, we're, we're toast. It'd be over. You know, like, we, we, we have fucked things up beyond repair in terms of just, like, you know, ocean plastic and, and you know, all, just all that. The rainforest, we can cut down, all that stuff. You know, I know climate change is a little, I mean, that's like a lib ass topic to, for some people, right? And everything, but um, like whatever, you know, I, but I do think that our only be- hope, we have to guide our own story and we, we're not going to be like handed the answer on a silver platter. But I do think the only hope for us is like some advanced alien technology. The only hope. Out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Shit, I was watching Transformers this weekend, and this is the same kind of message that's in like the fourth and fifth one. Uh, mm-hmm. That's like also like watching like the new Plan of the Apes and shit. They're like, yeah, yeah. Uh, all of y'all fucked this up actually, and we're irredeemable people, and we can't fix it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm not. That's not like a. I'm not saying that as like some like anti-humanist kind of misanthropic thing. I just think it's facts. You know, like I. Just, I think we fucked yeah. it up very yeah. badly. I think mm-hmm. that. I think that the earth and uh, what we're capable with and union with the earth is a lot stronger than what we uh, give it credit for. I think we need to make the right choices in order to help that process along and live harmoniously with the natural processes already occurring to try to right the ship. Mm -hmm. Um, But I I don't know. To me, something about that rhetoric is just so like that goes so in line with like, quote unquote what they want you to think right like mm-hmm. it's goes in line with no, de- degrowth I can like, see that you know too. is yeah. it like, degrowth or yeah. is it just i mean so so let me i want to find out where you're at because you you even said i, I saw when when uh the fed post like posted that last episode i, I remember you clarified it a little bit you're like no 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 no, no. i'm not anti this i'm anti that so so it's not even anti anything no 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 i okay as far as what you believe in like i, yeah, yeah. I believe this i believe that okay so do you I feel like I feel a sense from you that, and I'm talking to COH here, the, the, I feel like I've, I've, I feel like you, it puts down humans to say that aliens are, are not so much in control because I, I kind of subscribe to what Sai is saying is that like, I think the way this earth was built had some alien. Influence. You're on the ancient aliens pill. Yeah. I, d- to an extent. I mean, I can't say I, to be honest, I don't watch it. Like I just, so I, you- I, yeah, I, 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 so I want I'll tell you, I'll, we'll get to me, but I just want to say to you, like, why do you think it's such a slight to humans to say that another life form helped us with something or can help us with something? I think it undersells our ingenuity and creativity and our just ability uh, to like look at all these great things that 
are here as a part of human civilization and think there's no physical way that we could have done that. Uh, so it must have been aliens. And then I also think it's like a narcissism of the present kind of idea as well, where it's mm. like, okay. oh, there's no way any other past civilization could have had knowledge to do things beyond what we have now. Oh, fucking of course they could, man. There's well, so I, much knowledge in ancient civilizations that we've I, lost. I there have a very, counterpoint to that. I, yeah, I don't know. We've lost, I have a man. counterpoint to that. I, I, I mean, I'll say I'll say like you mentioned degrowth, right? And I think I think like that is just that kind of begins to hint at um, what I see as um, like the, the rational worldview that that is like prevailing nowadays, like really doesn't have uh, and, and we all know this, like just doesn't have a good answer to like the actual value of the individual human life that like a pre-modern one did of being like, you know, Hey, I'm Slav and like, I'm created in God's image. And like, there is, there is, there is an almighty being that, that loves me in some capacity and Mm -hmm. and all of that, like, like this hyper rational worldview that we have now, like does discount the individual. And I mean, ironically, because like also part of the problem now is just like liberalism, just, just, just being stuck on the individual, but um uh, and so and so like like when like coh brings up like degrowth and everything like i think that i think that like one leads into the other leads into the other leads into the other and like and just kind of right now like this whole like Mm -hmm. uh uh the the universe as explained by your science teacher Uh uh like very much gets a lot of mileage out of like hey man like you're just you're just an accident in the in the cosmos Mm -hmm. and and so and so what we need to do is like you know a guy thinking that way Mm -hmm. is gonna is gonna be a lot more pliable for the pod and the bugs right yeah yeah. and and all of that and all of that stuff and yeah yeah yeah. and and like and and i think that i think that I, i don't know i'm just seeing i'm just seeing like two parallel lines going here that like aren't between your guys's stances that aren't yeah, yeah. really conflicting it's just a, yes. a matter of just kind of bridging maybe the terminology and some of these that's, that's exactly what here. it is i i don't think so to coh's point i think he's scared to they're not scared that's not the right word to say what he's i think a, coh is a coward scared I will Whoa. <laughs> yeah. change it to soh Jeez. sick opinion haver how about that but no no i'm kidding i'm kidding the, the, what, opinion so so what i would what i would say to to how his point was on okay this kind of like a kind of implies that humans aren't capable of doing what we've done in the past civilizations weren't built by humans we're not as good as we think we are i I think that's that's what he's saying now i will say this i think people in past civilizations had a stronger connection to aliens and we're not able to have that now because we are bug men Mm -hmm. see that's my thing they had it with with their fellow human and the nature already there's there's too much there's too much physical like like anomalies man like shit like like you talk about the egyptian pyramids there's fucking beams at the top of the pyramids where it's like what did they how you can't lift something like that barely now can you lift something like you can do all sorts of stuff with like vibrational energy and stuff like that that we don't like that we're only really beginning to tap into and like barely even understand and it's fringe circles and stuff now too that won't even look into it so like but who's I helping us that, with that? You yeah, that's what I mean. I don't know you come yeah. to that naturally. I think you have to like I'm not saying I'm not saying we can't do it. Can't so aliens came down and gave it to like Egyptians mm-hmm. and then no, or or they're in communi- communicate. They're communal with them. Mm-hmm. And Correct. how and what through what means? Through their dream state? Through mathematics, through a lot of stuff, dude. The Egyptians well, okay. built a lot built a lot of they're stuff. Communicating the through mathematics. I don't, based, I don't think well, I don't, don't think our iPhone I don't think our iPhone was an original idea, like the technology behind it. I don't think that like heart defibrillator defibrillators and shit, you know, I think, or pacemakers or like, you, don't you know, think we have the ability to do like anything. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I don't think it was our original idea. Like we, I think we're being helped. That's it. Being helped. You know, okay, so in the outfield. have you ever seen I'm... angels in the outfield? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that guy was a good, right, that guy was a good left fielder, but he, you know, to rob that home run, he had to, you know, I'm just saying. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm busting I'm busting in here for a second. I'm busting in here for a second because yeah. I gotta ask. Okay, so 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 we're 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 definitely well past the line of me strongly disagreeing with the position you guys have. But what I'm this this idea of right, because I'm like I'm familiar chariot of the chariot of the gods shit, right? Uh-huh. Like past yeah, yeah. civilizations helped by etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. How much of you know you want to say dreams or communicating abstract concepts to 
to to early man uh, aliens to man like how much of that do you think can also be described in your opinion as like man kind of communing with god it's possible or, or with the collective consciousness or yeah. a collective reality i think, I think that, that collective not, consciousness not, matter yeah yeah i'm not i don't think we disagree i don't think we disagree as much as as you guys are saying that's what yeah. i'm saying like like to me i say i don't say aliens i'm not the ancient aliens guy doing yeah, the yeah. meme that's yeah, not yeah. me it's not aliens it's not one thing i think there is another society or another it could be angels i have no fucking clue like okay. I, I have no okay, clue. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm we, saying there's and, another, there is something else. I don't think it was just human blood, sweat, and tears. I just don't think that the, the physics don't line up with that. I know you're saying yeah, there's a not, vibration technology. I, I'm not saying that didn't happen. I'm just saying that the Egyptian pyramids were built off like the Fibonacci sequence and stuff like that. And there yeah. are mathematical ways to communicate in certain. Or honestly, I ways. think even the better, the better example is like the Mayan ruins and shit. You know, like their civilization was insane, and like you know, being able to laser cut blocks. Yeah, the irregular shapes where you can't slide a fucking piece of paper between them. Like, come on, you know that was not that was not some hunter gatherer like agrarian. I think our shit. understanding I, of what I, they were in the first place is just flawed. Like, I I think that we don't have a good like grasp of what other civilizations were capable of or the extent that they were developed, and so we have to put them in this chronological order of oh they must have come they were x many thousands of years ago so they must be like in this one step along between like monkey and that's here great. now no 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 so, no, no. so that's that, well that's a great point I don't subscribe I don't think I don't subscribe to that I I think that there were I think this is the third iteration of of humanity. In that, like, they, there were it's it, highly advanced civilizations before us that had even higher tech. You know, the stuff we don't even realize. Do you do you believe in Atlantis? Yes, yeah, I, I do. Mean, totally, yeah, broad, broadly, probably, yeah, for sure. thousand percent. For sure. What Gobekli, do you think look about at Gobekli, what, Tepli, what I'm, and shit like what that? I'm like, saying, there's, there's shit yeah, that, Gobekli, that we Tepli. can't explain. With like COH, well, who I, what I would say for you to do, because I think you think I'm married to the, or like us two, I think you guys think that we're just married to, it was fucking UFO guys coming down. Here's how you build the pyramids, guy. Here's the blueprint. Let me put on my mm -hmm. hard hat. Here we go. Boom, mm -hmm. boom, boom. Like contractor shit. Not that like, no, yeah. was not that simple. No, this was, this was something like, I think there were only humans there, in my opinion. Like if you were to look, yeah. if you were somehow, we got film evidence of like people building pyramids, mm -hmm. Mayan ruins, things like that. No, no, no. It was them. I mean, it, yeah. absolutely them. And that's why the, the, there's that. To me, the straw man is like, oh, you don't think these fucking, you know, indigenous people built this shit? No, I absolutely, I think they, I think they're better than us because they had a stronger connection to the unknown. Is what is what I'm saying. Yeah. So to you, it's and the unknown, unknown, or like it's it's, it's, it's like, I want to speak, I don't, I don't I speak on that real quick. I know it. Yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. No, I want to. Well, I don't think it's a binary. I think yeah, that, it could be either. I think. Well, no, I think. Well, yes, but I I think that even like there is a spiritual dimension to you humanity into all of life and we can connect to our god selves and get inspiration from that that's where it all originates from right everything i'm a huge believer of that but two things like what better way to be guided from that than our older cousins in the universe and and two i don't think you can be an advanced alien civilization with the craziest highest tech that won't destroy themselves without themselves connecting to their their god selves and their you know and their their universal power and their universal wisdom and stuff like that. And it's something that we've lost. We don't have that today in, in large yeah. amounts. I'm shitting on humans now is what so I'm shitting that, on. So yeah, do you yeah. think that aliens are from the same material reality, just a different section of it, like a different galaxy and they come and visit this part? Or are you saying that there are both I, I, and that like their sightings and such are, could be like actual aliens from a material reality that's similar, that's the same of ours, or also could be these spiritual interdimensional beings that aren't of both, that. For sure. Both. Both. Yeah. There are, yeah, there are, there are absolutely more advanced quasi physical beings. Maybe they don't need to eat, you know, maybe they don't need, maybe they're in, maybe they're, um, maybe they're completely telepathic, you know, they, they, they feed off different they, stuff. Mm -hmm, they feed off different stuff. Maybe sure. they have no secrets from one another, you know, and they, they don't, they don't get sad when people die, right? So because I'm with know. you guys on mm -hmm. this, actually. No, I, I, but, I, I, but that's I just, what I wanted to say. Like, I wanted to clear mm -hmm. the air and just no, be no, like... No, 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 100%. You're, you're not... So what, where I saw was I think you you just didn't expand on where you were, is what I think. I think you were you were just... You want to protect humanity. And I think, I think, the, I think as our podcasts go, I think we're very similar. I think the one thing is that you guys are a little bit more materialist than us in a sense that, like no, no, no. Like this is us. Like the material reality. I I'm fine with not knowing shit. 
I'm yeah. fine with not knowing who helped. I'm fine with it not being a fuck. Well, that's maker. where I'm at too. But then yeah, I move exactly. past that to like fuck all that. Like so, I'm, so I'm not I, gonna worry about it yeah. too much because I'm just gonna focus on what's fucking right facts. here. I, th- I, think we're we're I don't want to spend. Yeah. I don't want to spend a fucking dime trying to find alien. I don't want to spend yeah, a yeah. fucking dime, dude. And, well, and they're dude, here, so we don't no, need exactly. To, I know they're here. <laughs> I know they're here. And and the way the thing I know about and and I even the word aliens is weird because that implies that it's some fucking big gray guy with eyes and shit that's not what i mean i don't know i don't this could be a men in black situation where there's humans with fucking shit i don't know i don't care to know like like it might happen one day like si was saying we might have one of these crazy like collective consciousness like uprising thing like that might Mm -hmm. happen um now what i would say is like i i think the person who has it 100 right somebody that i'm late to the party on alex jones no yeah, you don't, know, you don't know a goddamn thing about this shit, dude. I'm sorry, but the 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 person who I think knows very a lot about it. I'm late to the party, so I've been there for a while, and I actually had a listener of ours recommend me to him. Um, and I'd only seen a few clips of him, but he's on Rogan a lot. But Graham Hancock, he's got it 1,000 percent right, where he's fine knowing, or he's fine not knowing who did what, but he understands that there's a gap in history where it's like this can't be explained and now yeah, the classic so, the classic science i'm sorry the classic science yeah. explanation is well if we don't know it's got to just be humans it's like well no hypothesis that's yeah. not a way mm-hmm. that's that to me that's not a way to quantify or to 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 um well i'd say the science thing is the opposite i mean because like it's i mean if you're going with science and you're saying like well obviously like there's unlimited galaxies there's all these suns there's all these planets in the same range as ours there's all these places that could have life there's obviously aliens so obviously Mm -hmm. they're out there they're probably more smart than we are but grandma hancock will be like look at this crazy thing that was buried in the earth during hunter gatherer times and it's got perfect fucking carvings on it like laser straight like machined edges you and know? they hid it from society they were able they to hide it from society, society like, like this, this implies yeah. that either there was an there was an advanced stuff going on then we realized and the scientific community the archaeological community will be like no we just don't have you know they'll do some dumb like rhetorical neil degrasse tyson shit where they they're obviously fucking wrong Right. They'll down. They'll it downvote him. Exactly. Yeah. I, and and he's just being like, I'm not crazy, you guys. Like this is some crazy shit. Like we should observe this. And it's he's he's gets orthodoxy. That's the thing. That orthodoxy is the yeah. the thing that fucking holds us back. That's what holds a lot of people back with everything, like dogma and orthodoxy, and just like everything. Look where we are in science with a COVID pandemic, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. literally held back by orthodoxy because of this, like paid funded orthodoxy, and that's why. What I'm saying is, is OK, I'm, I'm fine not knowing who it is. And like, like Graham Hancock says, he goes, there was an ancient civilization. Was it aliens? I don't know. Was it just another advanced civilization that got wiped out by the Ice Age? Could have been that. Could it have been this? I don't, I don't know. All I'm saying is we had some help. We had uh-huh. some help with this world. Could be God. Could be anything. So, I, I'm just I'm just that's all it is. What do you all yeah. think about like that? Maybe the aliens are just people who were way more advanced, were able to get off of the earth Very or whatever possible, before an yeah. ice age, and then they're coming back in some other form. Or they're for sure, they're for sure here. human, for sure humans that like human species that. Well, I I'm a that were native to Earth previously. Do you think that's a good? Uh, I'm, yeah, I think potentially or Mars. You know, I think like I think there's a few possibilities going on here that that Mars used to be inhabited, um, and that 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 shit blew. Uh, that there were several, there were maybe like two or three pre- previous highly advanced human civilizations on Earth that destroyed themselves. And this is like the third iteration. But I'm a believer that our genetic code, you know, we, we are not just, we were, we were, we were created. Like we fucking leaked from a lab like COVID, you know, fucking. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> human we, lab uh, leak. Human yeah. game of function lab. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. But we're, you know, we, we're not, we have genetic material from the great apes but we didn't it's not a direct unbroken evolutionary lineage and evolution is real you know that's a common Mm -hmm. it's a very real principle but we were probably mixed up and created and set loose and that kind of thing and i do think there are other humans but i also think there are other species and this is where it gets interesting we can maybe i'm bringing this up too early but um the thing that got me fascinated was hearing common threads of like abduction story sure. all throughout the world in Russia and Brazil and America and you know and in indigenous tribes and highly advanced quote unquote advanced societies with cities and shit where we all basically describe the same species like the same there's like there's like five or ten like subsets of different species and and we all have like similar descriptions similar vibes like oh yeah those grays are like they're kind of fucked you know or there's like these kind of grays and these kinds like these ones are kind of cool these ones are whack you know and then what the crazy one is the one uh, the praying mantis scenes. Mm-hmm. I'm uh, go, I'll go there if you want. But the go whole there, fucking, buddy. 
But CRK is not here. He can't, he can't stop us. CRK well, cannot well, stop really us. Fast, he's really tied fast. up in a room somewhere. Yeah. But go <laughs> oh, ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, I got him hogged. He's getting right probed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, praying yeah. mantis, you're saying praying mantis. I'm having flashbacks yeah. to our recent conversation. EMT people. Yep. Exactly. Yep. This is yep. sounding like the this elves. Is, so what's crazy. So, yeah, I was familiar with the praying mantis dmt thing for a while and there's also insectoids and all sorts of crazy uh -huh. shit like that and arcoids yeah. but then yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Trans those are the worst insectoid yeah. neoliberalism yeah. man we decided the those weren't good things but they yeah. survived they're like cockroaches dude that would suck if the aliens come and they're just that's, that's what they're gonna be that's my take brain. they're bringing yeah. them out now dude. Yeah. Yeah. that's what aliens are lit like my doomer take is aliens are libs they're like, demons. they are they're if, if if the bug men technocrats got their way and this is a thousand years from now and they they are doing basically mm -hmm. a history class by observing us by saying mm -hmm. like, Hey, look at what fucking look at these farmers. Like, yeah. look at these, uh, you know, look at these, look at these guys, like, you know, being self-sustainable, you know, and, and, uh -huh. and, and all that stuff. That's my doomer take. Now I don't think that's exactly true, but I do think, you know, aliens yeah. are like technocrat libs and like, you know, maybe yeah. they don't have genders. Maybe they don't have shit. I mean, like wouldn't, that be, what do you think? wouldn't that be one of the funniest things is Ever. that like, like a space faring species reaches us and they're like, Oh yeah, we completely believe yeah. in like exporting functions yeah. of the state to the free market. We heard market. there was a cheat like, in the White House. Right? Right? Like, you guys voted. You guys voted Biden, right? Like, you just want to check before yeah. we focus. And like, and they show They're up wearing masks. Then, <laughs> and then the implicit thing is just that Double. is just that like that ideology is the one that like achieved intergalactic travel, and we all just need to take a massive L. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will literally oh, harakiri if I find yeah, that out. Same. Yeah, same. Yeah. I just I'm done. Yeah. Peace. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I derailed but, uh, somebody there with the lib. Yeah. What were you saying, Coh? I think you. Well, Sai, you were talking about you think that uh, it's possible that maybe other past civilizations were more in touch with aliens than they are than we are now. Uh, I think it was a much, we, a much more active, lively soup. I think we're in a dark, dark age right and now. And you think you that know, we're like maybe about to get back into it because that's why they're coming down, or that's why they're going to bring them up. So why would yeah. they come? now and why would yeah. we be closer now to being in touch with them than we were previously because right now it seems mm -hmm. as though we're we're honestly like degrading and it's such a rapid rate and then I what think, if, what about yeah. the idea that maybe we mentioned possible like third iteration of humanity maybe there's been past civilizations in the past and they look like they've been more in contact with these things yeah. well what if that's a natural part of humanity what if that's a natural tendency in our civilizations and there's been infinite civilizations on earth in the past that have risen and crumbled uh to where there's only been a few and then they've restarted and we don't lost the history of them and every single time they go reaching to try to become the master of their own universe to try to reach out and find and commune with these things through oracles doing whatever that we think is going on at delphi or whatever it is talking to dmt things uh from like doing essentially like changa that's yeah. burning in front of them <laughs> yeah. um or like what if uh every civilization reaches a point where they've ex gone through this like vapid and very very quick uh quote unquote progress to where we are now and we've reached these moments where we have ruined all of our resources and depleted ourselves like the easter egg island people i did mm. um mm. and then we reach out oh we need to try to figure out so we start even delving even further into like essentially like uh the tree of knowledge if you will mm -hmm. if you'll right, if you'll right, right, go right. to the bible with me for a moment uh, yeah. the parable yeah. where they're like this will give you all the knowledge you'll be able to be like the master of your own destiny etc but you can't eat that because if you eat that bad shit's gonna happen well yeah. what's to say that that's not essentially what's been going on here and that every point in civilization people reach out to try to commune with these things to try to get this information to unlock the key of whatever is going on and they slowly get pilfered in this information from aliens or dmt or demons or whatever the fuck they things are mm -hmm. that we think or maybe just our own collective consciousness and the bad anti-human strains and tendencies within human con human consciousness because all of the universe is a balancing act. So obviously there's anti-human and pro-human instincts right. and drives within our entire consciousness. So what if those are just representations of that? And we're reaching out to these things to try to do this every single time. And every single time we reach, we get a little bit more information. We do these things. Oh, we can build the pyramids. Oh, we can have yeah. iPhones. Oh, we can do this. We can do that. But it takes us further and further and further away from what we're actually meant to be doing here yeah. and like actually buckling down, building community with the people around us and yeah. just like 
actually commuting with nature and earth. Instead, we're looking for these other answers that are going to make us masters of everything rather than realizing we're puzzles that fit into it uh, or a piece that fits into a wider puzzle. And then that leads yep. to the downfall every time. Yeah, I think fucking, that's beautiful. Pr- fucking yeah. preach, dude. And I'm going to use yeah. that as a perfect like uh, 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 bouncing point too, which is to say like, like what like where i'm at with it right because it's, it's hard for me to be like firm about any of this shit right mm-hmm. but one thing that i am like totally 100 percent firm on with this is that i think that this is um all right there's a, there's a there's a smaller scale alien right you're talking your gray you're talking your mm-hmm. little flying saucer i think that shit's real i think that that shit's real sure if we want to if you want to talk about like the i almost think it's like a video game it's like the end game character the fucking extra dimensional boys right the mm-hmm. more fucking ever present <laughs> thing yeah. i would i would i also believe in that right mm-hmm. and 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 kind of speaking to that right now i think that the main way i frame it this is the thing i'm, I'm really confident in is that this is fundamentally a subject that, that this is a place where man and the external world Mm-hmm. That division begins to blur. And like this is this is where we're talking about like how, you know, I am here in the cosmos, but I'm also part of the cosmos mm-hmm. inside myself too, right? And so and so what is that, right? It's I think that at a certain point you can you can consider certain abstract ideas to be life and intelligence. Mm-hmm. I think that like I think that I think that capital, I think that markets our AI basically. Mm-hmm. I think I think that a lot of just abstract concepts like that, like yeah. how uh, a, a species discovers fire or what 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 way best suits that species for just any just any number I think of some things. of it's like AI, the, like artificial intelligence, and some of it's like just human ingenuity and like some of it has anti-human tendencies and is demonic in nature. Well, I'm, I'm if saying, you want to give I'm it saying, that label and some of well, it is really, really, mm, like I'm capital. Saying, I'm saying AI, honestly, just like, uh, just like almost to be like cheeky or anything. It, I, I think, I think there's like nothing, I don't know that there's anything like artificial about it. I, I, I just think that like abstract concepts like exist statically in mm-hmm. the fucking universe. Yeah. Right. And, sure. and, and that, and that it's there entirely. Are axioms. Yeah. There are, yeah, there are pillars. Exactly. You know, yeah, it's, uh-huh. it's, we're talking Fibonacci a second ago, mm-hmm. right? It's yep. just like yep. something just as like, a sequence right like mm-hmm. a mathematical proof mm-hmm. uh like at a certain level of abstraction like is yeah can just can be considered uh, a being right and and, right. and is that is that god or an angel or a demon or is that an alien or a, st- a fucking star being or something like yeah or or, like it's like that's 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 flavoring right that's flavoring but Mm -hmm. but i i believe in that shit these are eternal questions that i think humanity has grappled with our entire existence i think all of consciousness grapples with it always and i think this is just a new like i think aliens and this whole like thing is just the newest for like answer of that like we had religions in the past well god is dead and such now we don't have such a high standing and place for religion now people mm-hmm. don't really delve into the metaphysics now so this is the rational explanation for the shit we can't explain but i don't think that means it's any more right and i don't think that that i don't think that uh i think it's probably all speaking just to the same like natural truths i think all religions and all of this shit, science and everything is just a way to interpret the natural world and stuff that's going on around mm-hmm. us and yeah. the natural, meta- like non material stuff that's going on around us that we can't necessarily yeah. see and consciously recognize. And so I think that, you know, there are stuff like that, like parables and stuff and religions and stories that are completely true. I think yeah. that no religion or whatever has it completely right. Just like I don't think that the aliens thing has it completely right. Um, but I think that it's all us trying to understand what's going on around us. And I think that we need to take lessons from those where we can uh, and not just try to constantly like run every single thing out through its logical conclusion. Like we're always at war with our limiting factors and at war with the natural world around us, trying to overcome it and take ourselves out of our bodies and become something greater than we are. We don't need to fucking do that, man. Like, yeah. I don't know. That's my whole thing. I like that. Yeah. Totally. I like how, yeah, you're very grounded in this yeah i don't I, disagree with you that much that's the thing yeah. i feel i feel like i'm i'm grounded in where i'm at but yeah i don't 
I don't think that those are two. It would be. Big, it would be a mistake. Those are, to, we don't. We aren't two Rams butting heads here. It would be yeah. a mistake to externalize all this onto aliens. It'd be a mm-hmm. mistake to. Yeah. To, well, and this is this yeah. is actually this seems like a good opening to one thing I was thinking about today. You know, I'm at work. I'm at work. I got stuff going through my head, and I wanted to bounce this off you guys. Sure. Um. You know. I think about UFOs. I think about grays. I think about the kind of symbolism going on there and the kind of channeling of, of concepts to do with nuclear technology with like uh, with, with aerospace engineering Mm -hmm. with shit that really, you know, you got, you know, you got you got Eisenhower in WW2 talking about Foo Fighters, right? Talking about UFOs back then. We get a lot of UFO paranoia during the Cold War. But the Nazis and, were all about that shit too, very well, then, heavily. Uh, oh, one hundred percent. So are the Chinese right now, by the way. Uh huh. Well, and so what I'm, so what you, I'm, it could be the the way that I'm sorry, the way that uh, the uh, because I was watching on Rogan, he has uh, Mike Baker, the ex CIA guy, on all the time. Um, kind of a weird thing that the ex CIA guy is able to be on a Rogan podcast and just start blabbing <laughs> yeah, shit. Fuck that kind dude, of, he's weird. Yeah, man. no, 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 no. Yeah, dude. No, but but yeah. I thought he brought up an inter- interesting point. Um, he's <laughs> he's all like anti-China guy, like whatever. But yeah, if China starts leaking UFO shit and the UF- US doesn't, what does that mean for the globe? You know, yeah, for, yeah, yeah. For, for world. So I I think that's where that's my answer to like all the materialists like you know people that we're around on twitter and stuff are like well well then then why is the why are the libs talking about ufos right now obviously to compete with china well okay mm-hmm. so so this and this is my point this is this is this is kind of getting to my thesis here which is like i think that aliens as we conceive them in, in popular in like in 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 wide popular culture is more a product of just like of just wartime culture you're correct. Because like, because that's just that's mm-hmm. just fundamentally what all of this shit is like a UFO, like it's a fucking jet fighter, right? Like all of this, it, it, it's bomb anxiety. It, it's all of it packaged in this one thing, right? Um, and I think that that has everything to do with the times we've seen them crop up. And you yeah. just mentioned fucking China. We're, we're, we're putting them out now, right? Mm-hmm. Um, because stuff with China is escalating. And like, I don't know, like even look at this fucking video just now, like think, think about like the, the, the big video everybody was talking about of the thing, like going into the ocean, right? The, the Tic Tac. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wait, like it was going into yeah. the ocean. Oh, What's that shit. guy's name? David Frayer. Is that his name? The, yeah. Um, I think so. Yeah. He, you t- no, 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 there, there was a guy who now I, I, I tend to subscribe to this, um, that, that these guys did see an unidentified flying object because these guys are fighter pilots and, you know, military and mm-hmm. guys who who have hawkeyes well actually I mean, neil guys... grass tyson says you could be wrong on that you know yeah well neil tyson <laughs> like that. Yeah. i swear to god yeah, yeah you were yeah. telling Link me, me the long yeah. way yeah. Neil. no 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 that uh, let me uh, okay sorry let me <laughs> sorry I didn't, for a didn't mean to derail no you, no yeah. i'm not derailed yeah. train's still yeah. going trains run on time here but the uh <laughs> anyways so the the funny thing about that, I think the guy's name is David Freyer. I want to say I want to say his name. I could be getting the first name wrong. The last name is definitely Freyer. But uh, he's he was talking about flying a plane. These and these guys, anybody, if you know anybody that flies planes, like especially on a military level, these guys have hawk eyes, man. Like hawk eyes, they can see anything. Mm-hmm. And this guy's seeing something move at a, just a crazy rate that he's never seen a flying object, right? And it's like a tic tac. He keeps saying it's like a, it looks like a little tic tac, right? And it's picking up. There's video evidence of it and everything. And this thing just fucking dives in the ocean, right? So that mm-hmm. that breeds the hypothesis for a lot of people um, where like aliens are living underwater, right? Like yeah. they're they're living in the ocean. Which to be fair, I think they're probably, not they're not aliens though. Probably no, like, no. It, what, what, again, aliens is but an yeah, not extraterrestrials. It's, sorry, it's, a, it's an interchangeable thing here. Yeah. I'm just saying aliens for reference. I, I I know what you mean, and it could be that I have 100. I I'm fine with not knowing what they are. So yeah. the uh the tic tac flies in the ocean. So Neil deGrasse Tyson, this fucking prick, says like, oh well, here's the thing. Um. Because this thing actually <laughs> fucked up their radars on the planes. It just clouded the radars. Like the radars didn't work. The sonar technology stopped working all of yeah. a sudden there. This is stuff where people are paid F. just fucking, you know, six figures, maybe even seven figures to, to maintain. Yeah, uh, in our and they get fucked up by a flying minion by by this yeah. by a minion, right? Yeah. And uh, just saying booba as it's flying, and it's <laughs> and and this thing fucking dives into the water, right? And Neil deGrasse Tyson is one of these wolf. We don't know then it was humans. He's one of those guys, and and like okay, no, it wasn't. 
right? We know it's not humans, right? I can't say what it was, but this thing fucking dove into the ocean and a fighter, you know, fighter pilot, whatever you want to call the guy, saw it, saw it happen. And to me, that's the problem with how we do science is that we quantify the unknown as like, well, status quo. Mm -hmm. And no, like, that's not true. Like it's, it's, it's okay to not have the answer, but to know that it wasn't us. Well, there's crazy, there's crazier shit with, with that story. That's the thing is they always leave out the cool bits. The the craziest thing about that story is, well, yes, that there is an extremely fast UFO that did crazy maneuvers at crazy speeds. Well, and just, and just know. really fast, really fast. Yeah. Cause COH wasn't familiar with it. It's basically just like a clip that's captured from like a, a, a either a naval vessel or I believe it was an aircraft actually. It was, right? a, yeah, it was a navy fighter. fighter pilot over the ocean. And and yeah. like this this yeah this little like kind of tic tac shaped thing. I mean, if I recall correctly, it's hovering almost still above the ocean, yeah, yeah. and then just kind of casually just dips down into it in a way that specifically like shows that it just like it just isn't experiencing yeah. the kind of resistance that no. should be there. Um, so that's what we're talking about. It's not defying, to, not, it's defying and, modern physics. Exactly. Yeah. And, mm. oh, where was it going? So you said there were other things they, other than what I yeah, said. Yeah. So th there's, there's that it went at a crazy speed, but the craziest, the craziest part of the story for me, and I think for him too, saying it was David was, uh, they, they, they were doing a, a air training thing. They were doing their fun, like fly around and just fuck around and like, you know, do a little demo yeah, kind of wasting thing, our right? money. You know? Yeah. Pop yeah. Exactly. You know, yeah. Yeah. Go off and shit. Yeah. They, so they had a rendezvous point that they, so they were at one spot and then they were supposed to meet up at this rendezvous point in the air. And so they saw this thing. I might be butchering this, but the gist of it's generally correct. They saw this thing and saw it dip into the ocean and then fly off like way off into the other thing. Their radar got scrambled and then they went to their rendezvous point and the thing was like there, it was trolling them. It knew where they were supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Right. Like it, it knew their mission. And these it are was top doing secret. irony. Yeah. 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 These are like top <laughs> secret. These are top secret fucking thing you know no one knows what except for the guys who the you know where the where the fucking rendezvous point is right or whatever right so j just the fact that they that this thing was literally following them around trolling them like it, it knew in advance where they were supposed to be where they were gonna be that's just crazy to me um it's fucking crazy dude. yeah and so the and this was in 2004 that's the thing this has been out for a long long time it's just it's just finally getting yeah. like the new york times and the rogan and the and the department of defense re press release. wait that's from 2004 yeah Correct. it's long it's super old yeah what yeah. the fuck yeah. i didn't know mm -hmm. that i thought this was from like two years ago no me no. too yeah no, me hell too. No. and uh me too movement mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> me and, too uh, as well me me as well yeah, yeah. me indeed <laughs> yeah <laughs> um yeah so it's some crazy shit uh Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. I think there, there's something going on. And for the, I have this like, I mean, I have just this like, I want this to happen so bad. I want the aliens to show up and Neil deGrasse Tyson to be there and be like, oh, wow. Like, I'm the scientific ambassador of like, of the, you know, of, of the world. Like, what's up, guys? Like, can we, and they're just like, fuck you, dude. We know who you are. You know, I just want them to just pan the suspenders. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want them to pan him so hard for my own personal, like, yeah. feeling of joy. No, they're going to the fucking love him. Thought. No, they're going to treat him like Jack Black in Mars Attacks, if anybody's ever seen that movie. Just fucking nuke him. And then, and then, uh, in Minecraft, obviously, but the, uh, the, the, yeah, and, and Neil deGrasse Tyson, like you said, his take on that when I said it fucked up literally military level fucking like sonar radar type shit, they were he, his whole thing was like, well, it didn't fuck it up. It just had a malfunction and did all that. It's like, dude, you're not doing science. Yeah, you're doing yeah. lib shit. So exactly. to all the people yeah. who say that, like, oh, aliens, that's some lib shit now. It's like, OK, then you agree with Neil deGrasse Tyson. So you tell me where you're at. Dude, Neil so deGrasse Tyson's think never he's... doing science. He's just doing PR, yeah. dude. He's Fuck 100 percent. Yeah. He's regulating yeah. space. He's doing what Mehdi Hassan used to do for leftism, all those type of things where it's like, I am the gatekeeper of this shit. Yeah. If you're doing anything he, he... to the to the to the more extreme version of me, then I'm sorry, it's not science. And he fully, and this is not surprising in the least, but especially for COH here, like he fully fell into the whole fucking neolib Gates Monsanto agriculture hole too. He narrated that fucking mm -hmm. piece of shit documentary that was pure propaganda. I forget what it's called. It's just all like you know. It's being called like, I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson and I'm gay. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I am gay. It's a Neil deGrasse Tyson story. I am gay subtitle. and I love corn. Yeah. Life yeah. life as a paused uh, science man. So yeah. if you think 
Uh, this is for Sai here. If you yeah. think that they are going to come down and they're going to help us and uh, or they have technology that we could yeah. use to write our world or whatever, and ideally they're a more advanced civilization, so they'd want to help us or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, why is it that you think they'd let someone like Neil deGrasse Tyson do this gatekeeping without them just showing themselves? Why would they be yeah, communing yeah. with That's our like question. world leaders that are these evil globalist fucking pig slug people? And why would they wait on their okay to come out with, oh, we can release a couple of nondescript videos for you guys? Yeah. Or well, why would they like why would they be working happening. in league with these people or in to or why would they uh you don't. You, so you don't think that's what's yeah. happening. You think they're. I think, they, I think they have zero respect for the world leaders or whatever, because they know that that that's just not how life is supposed to work. That's not a sustainable model. You know, that's just. You know, they know that all. It's that we're just incredibly unadvanced species. That's the thing. We we are as as for everything we've said before about you know like ancient civilizations and how cool they were and everything. I still think we are an incredibly non-advanced species on the grand scale of. You know, really? you know, yeah, yeah. Like very, like we are like infant on this whole thing. And uh, so I, I think, I don't think they have respect. For, I, I think that there's a code for extraterrestrials or whatever to not interfere with the prime directive shit right there. Maybe. Exactly. Yeah. So I think there's some, with the exception of nuclear explosives, right? So they're there and there, that's the other crazy. So there are, and again, this is something, you know, who knows about like sources or whatever, but there are anecdotes of, <laughs> of people you know, like of world leaders trying to detonate nuclear explosives and like the codes stop work or whatever. And they're like, they're being interfered, just like the radar, right? You know, they're being interfered with. And so, yeah, so there is some like prime directive thing that we're not to be interfered with. We're to be, we're to be offered a helping hand if we decide to choose it, but it's still our fate kind of thing. So, and again, th this that gets complex, right? Because like, how, how do you even, how do you even navigate that? How do we navigate that as humans, right? And how do you, mm -hmm. yeah. But I don't what think, they, I don't think they are, be. huh? would they have an incentive on this or is this just how the peer like they're such an advanced civilization they want everything to be harmonious and such or is it like yeah, they yeah. want to see how we do with free will and what is it like a fun little experiment for them or are they like using resources that we can't comprehend or see think, uh, yeah. somehow energies or whatever and I think they don't we're want all, that to be fucked with i think they it, the more advanced you get spiritually that i would presume the more you realize how interconnected all of life is and how there are no enemies and how there are no sure. no any of that stuff so at one point they just see potential and they, they want to help elevate yeah kind of like they, they want the harmony thing they want to elevate all of life everywhere and um and they just wanted to come about organically that's why they're yeah. hands off about it except exactly. for stopping mm -hmm. nuclear explosions or whatever yeah exactly yeah because that's probably the one thing where it it not just fucks with our karma but the the fabric of space time or something you know where we can start to really fuck shit up on a grander scale kind of thing but yeah i do think you know and 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 it's funny because i'm like hella anti-gmo and you know i'm extremely skeptical of vaccines and everything but as far as us doing it but i fully believe that like you know give it give a few fucking ten thousand generations of evolution you know uh intellectual and spiritual that we can be doing that shit no problem it's not like a it's just a, like the current system. And you'd right, trust so that these was... things if these things came down and they were like, we can give you all this shit. We can give you vaccines that will make you limitless. We can yeah, give yeah. you this, that, and the other. You'd do it? Mm, no, I I mean, <laughs> that's the thing. You, you, I would have to, you, I think that a big part of this is you have to, again, connect with that inner core. You know? Well, here's the question. Here's yeah. the question. Yeah. That's what you're like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was yeah. Do they look like fucking praying mantises? Yeah, this is crazy. I just read this book. Um, this is a big